Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is good to see you guys as usual. So, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing a like makeup, no makeup look um, while I'm in the hospital because you know when you're in the hospital you don't want to do like a full face of makeup unless you're super bored and you feel like it which I do do that sometimes but usually I'll just put on a little bit of makeup so I'm going to show you guys what I normally do um, with my makeup and ignore these right here are from the couch but yeah so we're going to do a little makeup no makeup look and I'm just going to show you my little lazy look that I'm doing. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Ain't no love, like we love, but it goes so fast, all tied up, like a captain. I want to, used to pay them on my life, sending a rainbow who's playing the cool. I was like this in ages, and I'm no patience, so won't you please? braided it last night before I went to bed so it's like wavy all right so first things first I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel that's what it looks like and it's just a moisturizer And it has sunscreen in it as well. Always start out with a moisturizer so my skin is moisturized because I have dry skin. Next up is primer. And I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. There's like none left in this thing. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation and this is a mattifying foundation which y'all know I usually don't use this but this is all I have up here with me um because I'm out of my um Too Faced Born This Way foundation so I need to get more of this but this is like a drop dropper foundation and then I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge to blend this out. I'm not going to put on too much though that way it's not super super full coverage. I'll just show you guys. Now I've never actually used this foundation. My mom just bring it up for me yesterday because um, I asked her if she could just bring me up a foundation because I didn't have one. So I was all out of mine so she bring me this so I guess this is a kind of a review for this foundation. And of course my sponge is wet. Always wet my sponge before using it. I'm going to put my nose ring up. But yeah, it says lightweight, non-oily texture that feels like a second skin provides long lasting, long lasting full coverage without a mask effect and creates an even comp complexion with high definition finish for camera ready skin. Usually matte foundations do not look good on me. They look like they make my skin look dry and patchy, but this actually looks good, which is surprising. All right. I just changed my shirt real fast because I didn't want anything to get on my new shirt. So, my foundation is all blended in. Now, 
I'm gonna put on some concealer and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. is all blended out now I'm going to pour that some of this powder into this lid and it is the Becca Hydra Mist set setting powder so I'm gonna dip my sponge in it and go in my under eyes and this is good for dry skin. It doesn't dry your skin out. All right, so while the powder is sitting on my under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so got a little bit carried away while I was doing my um, <clears throat> brows. So I did my eyebrows and I did some eyeshadow and then I did mascara I carved out my brows all that so I'll show you how I got this look so first I went in with the M441 brush from Morphe went in with this shade right here and just started going like this windshield wiper motions then I started going in with a more dense brush, the M433, and started going in with darker colors and until it, I got as dark as I could. And now it's, I'm going to add a little bit more of punk. And this is the Born to Run palette, by the way. Really like this palette, it's a nice palette. So. I'm adding a little bit more of punk, which is this color right here, this dark brown. And then I'm going to add Ignite, which is this brown, fiery, sparkly shade that I really, really like. Oh, I think it's so pretty. That's it. Okay. So now... For my eyelashes, I'm going to start out with this lengthening mascara by J Cat. And this is the wand. I didn't get too carried away to where I couldn't show you guys what I was doing though. So, this is definitely more of a natural look that I'm doing. I'm not using fake lashes or anything. Um, and then I'm using this Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. Alright. So, now both eyes look good. I'm going to add a little bit more mascara. Just a little. Not too much to where my eyes look clumpy trying to separate them a little bit lashes are done and this is a new mascara that I'd never tried before it's called the lengthening mascara by Jade cat um, and it seems to do a really good job it definitely lengthened my lashes did not give much volume though but it did for sure lengthen up my lashes and give them length but I like a mascara that's gonna give you volume and length but Usually I can't find both, so I use the voluminous one as well, because this is one of my favorite mascaras ever, the voluminous one by L'Oreal. I'm just going to go in with this little contour shade, with this little Smashbox palette.
how you can tell where your cheekbones are, where to contour them, is there's a little indent like right here. And you just go right in there. Brush for bronzer, and I'm gonna use the butter bronzer. And this is in the shade, in the shade Sun Kissed. It's by Physicians Formula, if you guys don't know. It's my favorite bronzer. And you can get it at the drugstore, you can get it at Walmart. It's definitely worth it. As you can tell, it just really gives you that sun-kissed, like, bronzy look that you're going for. If you want to have, like, a natural look, you know, this is definitely the bronzer for you. Because it's not one of those that, like, you put it down and it's way too pigmented and it's way too much. Because I don't even like bronzers like that. I like to be able to build my bronzers. This is my favorite part, honestly. The smell just gets me, it's so good. All bronzed up, and our, the brush I used is the M527. Time for blush. And I'm just going to use this little palette right here. Because it has a little pink color in here. And I usually like my blush to be, have a little shimmer in it. Just because it gives you that glow. Now, I'm going to spray my face. I'm gonna spray my face with this right here. And this is going to help our highlight pop. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Glow Kit by AVH. Just mix these colors together. Pop in. And now, for my lips, I'm going to use Charm by Kylie Cosmetics. Super pretty color. And this is the color. Super pretty. Now I can take my hair down. Now I'm going to add some highlight to the inner corner. Alright. So. This is the natural no makeup makeup look. I mean of course you can tell I have makeup on. But I'm not wearing like the lashes and all that crazy stuff. I'm just, you know, I just have a little bit of makeup on. And the base actually looks good. Like I like that foundation that I used. It actually looks good. Um, and of course, if you're trying to like look good. So now I'm wearing my new top that I got. And my hair is all wavy and my makeup's done. So this is my hospital no makeup makeup look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing how I do my makeup and stuff and how I do it while I'm in the hospital. As you can see, the base, like that foundation that we used looks really good on the skin and I never use matte foundations I always use the glowy ones and stuff but this one actually looks really freaking good and I like it so would recommend that foundation it's the Catrice uh, liquid 
matte foundation um but yeah and then lips always look good because i use kylie cosmetics lipsticks all the time that's like my only lipsticks that i use i just love her formula but yeah so i'm gonna show you what my outfit looks like so i'm wearing my new shirt that i got from the gift shop it says simply southern right here and then just a pair of black leggings And then the back says, Faith can move mountains. Cute shirt. And I'm not sure what I want to do with my hair. It's hard to decide. I want to walk. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please and thank you. Here's with my new glasses. Wow, it looks good. But, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave down below some um, things that you want to see from me. And subscribe to my channel if you aren't yet subscribed. It would mean the world to me. I love you guys. And... Yeah, another thing I want to mention, um, of course I always wear like perfume and stuff, um, and the perfume I am wearing is the Juicy Couture one, um, but I also use this, and it's by Victoria's Secret, it's called Tease, you just put it like right on your neck, and it smells so good, like, and I put it on my nose too, just because it smells so good, but yeah, alright, I'm all done, all did up for like the hospital at least you know um so love you guys see you guys in the next video